It reads, you mentioned that during startup, the private, so the startup of the innovation service, the private sector approach didn't work. Could you elaborate why and tell us a bit more about how and if you partner with the private sector and maybe extend it to you know, academia or the startups at the moment? Yeah, so I mean, when we think about the beginning of the innovation service, um, a lot of the lessons that we've spoken about um, already during this webinar were not things that we were really thinking about at that time. So this would have been, you know, around 2011, 2012, when the initial idea for the innovation service um, came about. And we were working with um, different private sector uh, organizations and foundations that, again, we weren't practicing what we preached um, in some ways. We weren't necessarily going to the communities and building solutions with them or led by them. And I think that that's where we really saw that they weren't sustainable um, ways of working. I think that there's an absolute like huge amount that we can learn um, from the expertise of the private sector, but it really depends again on understanding what that need is and where it fits in the organization. Um, as I mentioned before, we're doing this uh, HR uh, machine learning project, and the reason that that project actually came about was because um, our, our HR focal points, they had identified a specific challenge um, that they had, then actually went out and started seeing what, was, what the private sector was doing. So they identified that need, they went and saw what people in the private sector were doing, they tried to learn from them, and then see if that was something that we could do within within UNHCR, and in that context it worked because the people who the need was based on were very much involved in that process to see how we could learn from, from the private sector, but we weren't just going out and taking the private sector solution and pasting it into UNHCR. Um, so I think that when it comes to the private sector approach, um, as the question mentioned, it's not about it not working per se, but not understanding how working with the private sector best um, can create value for our organization. And I think this comes with all partners. It's understanding what is the expertise that, that we need. Um, it's not just about copying and pasting solutions from the private sector into the humanitarian sector, because that just simply won't, won't work the majority of the time. Um, it's really seeing how you can work alongside each other to understand how you can really create value um, for the partnership. And at the end, that's creating value for, for refugee communities or UNHCR as an organization. So it's not so much that the private sector approach didn't work, but we hadn't really understand, understood how it could really benefit the organization. Um, and with regards to engaging them, we have a lot of different channels that we engage the private sector with. Um, we have long partnerships of having worked with Google on our Connectivity for Refugees project. We've worked with Facebook on piloting chatbots previously. Um, there's a long history there, but what we've also found is that there are these spaces of underutilized partnerships. Um, we feel that, for example, academia is really, really overlooked when it comes to how we can better um, and more creatively approach innovation within our organization. There's so much research that's, that's being done out there. Um, and, and one of the things we've been trying to do is understand, you know, how can we learn from behavioral science, cognitive science, um, psychology, to understand how we can really influence um, the organization when it comes to, to innovation specifically. So I think that, that there's still a lot that UNHCR um, has to learn from the private sector. Um, but I think that as with every partnership, we need to understand uh, sort of where we meet in the middle and what our needs are, what their needs are, and how we can create something that's really collaborative and mutually beneficial.